In this video, you will learn how to install PyTube library in the Visual Studio Code Editor. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now the prerequisite for this installation is that you need to have this Visual Studio Code and the Python installed into your system. But if you do not have the Python installed into your system, then I have already created a separate video for that and you would find the link of that video in the description below. So once we have the Visual Studio and the Python installed, we will open that Python project in Visual Studio Code for which we want to install PyTube library. And for that, we will click on this file here, then click on this open. And now we will navigate to the location where our project is present. So for me, it is present inside the downloads folder. So I will quickly go to the downloads, then projects. And here I will select this PyTube project and finally click on this open. Now before installing PyTube, we will create a virtual environment for this opened project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the Python project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and after that only we will install the PyTube library inside the created virtual environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment for your project then you can skip the creation part and directly activate the environment and after that you can install the pytube library inside that activated environment so to create the virtual environment first we will open the terminal and for that we will click on this terminal then select this new terminal here so our terminal is opened now and in this terminal we will type python3 space minus m b e n v space and now we will give the name of the virtual environment which we want to create so let's say this is my env so this command is for mac systems but in case you are using windows then you would see the command on screen now we will hit enter to execute the command and once this command is executed successfully we will see this my env folder which is created inside the project folder and this my env will have all the necessary scripts and libraries in it now we will activate this created environment and for that we will write source space my env forward slash bin forward slash activate now again this command is for macOS and for windows you would see the command on screen now we will hit enter and as soon as the command is executed we will see this my env within these brackets so which is the indication that this particular environment is currently active and now finally we will install the pytube library in this activated virtual environment and for that we will type pip3 space install space pytube and once this is installed we will see this message of successful installation. Now to verify the installation, let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment. So for that we will run the command which is pip space list. So this will list down all the packages which are installed in the current activated environment. And here we will see this pytube library also which has this particular version. And now we will write a small python script which will verify whether this pytube library is installed properly or not so first we will create a python file and for that we will click on this new file icon here and now we will give the name of the file so let's say this is main.py so this main.py file is created inside our project folder so make sure to create this file inside the project folder only not in the my env folder now in this file first of all we will import the pytube module so we will write import then pytube and now we will also print the version of pytube so for that we will write print then pytube dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore let's now save this file using command s and now to run this program we will again come to the terminal and type python space main dot py so our code is executed successfully and we got this version of pytube which is same as this one. 
So now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button. So the PyTube library is installed properly and we can use this in our Python projects now.